We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a segment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. All right, I'm going to show you this. This is real. This uh, actually happened. This is uh, State Senator Steve Drozgowski. Uh, this is the Minnesota Senate. Uh, and this was a debate about whether or not the Republicans uh, wanted to join the Democrats in Minnesota in passing legislation that would provide the school breakfast and lunch for all students. All students. This is the direction that this party in control is leading us. It's the wrong direction. It's a one-size-fits-all. Government dictates to the people of Minnesota with their money in using it to do things to them that don't need to happen. Mr. President, I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that is hungry. (laughs) Yet today. I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that says they don't have access to enough food to eat. Now, I should say that hunger is a relative term, Mr. President. Oh, my God. You know, I had a cereal bar for breakfast. I guess I'm hungry now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sure he searched his country club high and low for a hungry person. He just was unable to. I'm sure he searched. Eight percent of his uh, particular district are living in poverty. Almost, that's almost 10% of all the people he represents. And he's never met a hungry uh, person in the state of Minnesota. He just never has. Uh, and uh, he doesn't know where he would even look. Okay, he, here is the Democrat, Heather Gustafson, uh, who is defending the facts and the need for this bill. Right now, as we sit here in the Senate chamber, an estimated 274,886 students are on free and reduced meals in Minnesota. (laughs) Roughly one in six children are food insecure. That means they don't know where or when their next meal will be available if they get one at all. Moving beyond students in this category, Minnesota Department of Education estimates that around 18.5% of students likely qualify for free reduced meals but are not getting free and reduced price meals for a variety of reasons. The most likely reason is that they haven't completed the form to prove they qualify. The form. Besides the healthy meals and giving money back to families, feeding kids at school is the right thing to do. Being hungry makes learning almost impossible. There is no worksheet or assignment, test or project that will matter to a student who hasn't had anything to eat. I mean... This is this is this is this is the debate. This is the Republican debate. Okay, so have uh, force birth, give birth, put them in the world, and then we won't feed them. We don't care. We won't feed them. We won't talk to them. We won't meet them. We don't know them. They don't exist for us. They don't exist for us. Uh, when the Democrats point out that there are two hundred and seventy-four thousand eight hundred and eighty-six, that is pretty exacting a number uh, of children who get free lunch as a result of being poor enough to qualify and having filled out the forms, the Republicans will stand up and denounce or deny that they exist because life is precious. This is such bull crap, and it always has been. It is always love the fetus, hate the child. Why the fetus? Because it's not, it's, it, it's, it's, ethereal it's nebulous it's not a it's not a real thing for people to have to take care of okay it's not a real thing that they have to you know uh, uh, appropriate money for so you can be for the fetus without any cost to you but you can't be for the child without any cost to you which is why we deny that there are hungry children in minnesota and 26 Republicans voted against providing free lunch for hungry children in Minnesota. Uh, ben Shapiro, who really needs to be a smoted or smited, whatever it is uh, that, uh, you know, the, Bibli- the, the Bible would provide for. Um, he said that uh, hungry children shouldn't get school lunch because it's not expensive 
to feed a child. Now, Ben Shapiro, I believe's company is worth about $150 million. <laughs> yeah. If government can protect kids from the sick radical left, shouldn't they also protect kids from hunger? Wouldn't it make sense to strengthen food stamps and have school lunch be free since some kids are in school lunch debt? Uh, well, I mean, if you are a parent, school lunches are not going to solve the problem of child hunger at any serious level. Oh. If, if there is a problem of children actually starving, that is a child endangerment scenario in which CPS needs to be called. Uh, <laughs> if you're talking about like, actual child starvation, the truth is it does not take that much money to feed a child. I know I have three of them. Uh, the, you should be feeding your child before you feed yourself. It's that simple. There's a much deeper problem at work than school lunches if kids are legitimately starving. <clears throat> Um, he really needs to be smited. He really does. Something, 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 uh, you know, uh, uh, otherworldly, uh, you know, needs to actually uh, go and do whatever something otherworldly does to evil people because that is evil. That is pure, pure evil. There is no question. I, you know, he's equating hunger with starvation. Well, you know, unless and until they're starving to death, uh, Ben Shapiro doesn't think that there's any role for government to play. Uh, he thinks that children should be in school. They should be hungry all day long, okay, because just like his counterpart in the Minnesota uh, Senate, uh, you know, he had a, a granola bar for breakfast, so of course it's lunchtime and now he's hungry. And so why should the state feed him? because he's hungry uh, they're making the same evaluation here about children who are in school who are hungry well they're not starving to death because if they were starving to death that would be a child protective services issue and therefore there is no need to feed <laughs> poor children but life is precious you know no food for you but life is precious no food for you no 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 breakfast for you no lunch for you they voted against, uh, you know, any 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 aid to hungry children because those children aren't in dire straits, because they're not starving, because they're not wiping flies out of their eyes. I mean, they're not going to be happening until we look like, uh, you know, a, a, a TV commercial for Feed the Children. They're, they're not going to be happy until the United States of America is included in those fundraisers around the world to feed the poor, starving children of the United States. And now... It's a federal thing. It's, it's actually federal. So it's not just Minnesota now. It's not just Tennessee now. It's not just Ben Shapiro and his white supremacist crowd. No. Now it's actually a national thing. Now, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to show you videos of people lined up at food pantries in this here country. Uh, it, it is just, it, it, it is a sin, but it is true that it happens here in this country much 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 more often than anybody wants to pay attention to that people are driving to food pantries and hoping that there's still food left in the food pantry when they arrive so that they can go home and take two heads of cabbage and a bag of potatoes with them swear that's happening i don't know how many videos i have to show you of that happening but now you have a a, a south dakota uh, uh, uh representative uh, dusty johnson who introduced legislation to not ban but uh you know pretty much ban food snap benefits food stamps for anybody over the age of between the ages because we have work requirements in, in in snap i don't know how many people understand that we do have work requirements if you're going to get uh you know uh, snap benefits you if you're under the age of 50 you have to work at least 20 hours a week or we will let you starve we will america has no problem with it but now they want to increase the work requirement for people up to the age of 65. anybody who isn't 66 yet get to work go work or no food for you. Now, it's 2% of the of the budget of the United States that we're talking about here. And I don't know how many people can't work because they're in screaming agony or because they are suffering from some illness, chronic or acute, or they are uh, suffering from addiction or mental illness, or they're otherwise struggling with children at home. I don't know. But you better get your ass to work or no food for you. That's the Republicans. Clear. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.